That's how a regular Palooka goes from cabbie to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. Didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner, what are the odds? I felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and then next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, I wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. The way I hear it, Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! You drive with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Dumb, Tom Morello, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 sir. I, I just. I just. I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. The grills look bent up, is all. I mean, I got a cousin, I got. Uh! Spun yet tail, pal. You got an informant right there it says Marilla made a mint every time Crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Marilla left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. I don't square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Well, maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Celieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh, huh. have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We were running booze, offering protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect, small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Mm. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, <laughs> Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the Junkers to Gow jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race, and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload, but not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. 
Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find them. Merle's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Sarah, can I get a drink here? Soon as you're ready. Sure thing. Your pop letting you out for the race? You kidding? Feels like we're packing this place up and moving it to the stands. <laughs> He likes to make sure I have something to drink when I win. Hey, Tom, do you have a place to go, or does Don Salieri just pay you to make the place look pretty? He's got plenty of places to go. Come on, Tom, this job's against the clock. Hey, buona sera, Tommy. Hmm. So that's a five, a six, uh, along with what's already behind the bar. And everything. I'll see you at the race tomorrow, Tom. Sure looks like it. We're gonna win a bunch of dough. Well, I can feel it. Hey, Titi Tommy. Big day coming up, right? right? You, you, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Got to send him a message. So. Tonight, we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard. For a little dough, he'll show you where it is, then look someplace else while you turn the key. I like Bobby already. Sure. Then in there is this other guy, little Lucas Bertone. You take the car to him down under the Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. Then I take the car straight back and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. B -b Bobby comes off shift at 1.30 and then and, and, and the next guy, he's an ass. Oh, hey, hey, if you need somewhere to keep your m -m motors safe where no one can take them, feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks, good to know. Bobby? Yep. We can take my car through to the garage. It's a ways off. Any friend of Ralphie's a friend of mine. If you got the money, sure. <sighs> Tomorrow morning they start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. I hate it. Ah, come on. Name a better place to pick up a date than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. Things I've seen. OK, 
Okay, this is it. Here she is. 1929 Carazella C-Series. Best in class. It's a shame you gotta wreck it. If they see this down the road, cops are gonna ask questions. When they catch up, sure. Try to keep it one piece, too, huh? So, I gotta be back from Berton by 1.30 before the next guy shoots. Yeah, he's an ass. I heard. Sammy Angelo. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Hello, you. Get back before anyone catches on. Go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey, tell Mr. Salieri, I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. Hot cars, getaways, anything for the right price. Let's just hope Salieri's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Okay. Drive careful.
Christ. Good to go. Drives like a jalopy. Okay, let's get out of here. Big day tomorrow. So Sam walks out of the bathroom, and I'm praying he's got a piece on him. Cause I'm not sure the bartender's gonna hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. Hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom, just starts pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Nah. Sometimes you just gotta make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom, you got the moment. Oh. Sure, Frank. We've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw, sent him to the hospital. Jesus. Yeah, tough a locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, Tom, I don't know. It's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. But Don wants to win. But more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Yeah. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. From Europe, we got the hotshot favorite, Martin Lichtenberg, taking some time out of the International Series to compete with us today. Got some news from the grid here. Lost Heaven local favorite, Mikey Dunn, is out. Replacing him is, uh, Tommy Angelo. Well, I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing him good luck. They're lined up on the grid. They're ready to start. 